Hey everybody, it's Steve with some more Simple DMX. I want to show you my new 6 lens DMX laser. It's one of the least expensive DMX controllable lasers that I've ever seen. I bought mine on eBay for just $81. And you can find these on a variety of different online sites. In this video, I want to unbox one, look at its basic features, go through setting its nine different functions, then look at each of its six DMX channels, program some scenes, and finally watch it in action in both auto and sound mode, as well as with some pre-programmed scenes. All right, so what is in the box? Well, you get this very bare bones instruction manual, if you can even call it that. Power cord. The laser, and it comes with this mounting bracket. This is a three color laser with 150 milliwatt red, 50 milliwatt green and 200 milliwatt blue laser diodes that are focused through these six lenses. And it's housed in a pretty sturdy feeling metal case uh, with this mounting bracket. Here's the AC in, DMX in and out, a small cooling fan, and this is the control panel with the LED readout and the menu buttons where you set all the functions. This control panel cycles through the nine different functions. So when you press this menu button, you go through each function. The first function is setting the DMX channel and you can set it up or down with the up and down buttons. And when you've got the channel that you want, you hit enter and it says save. The second three functions are the red pattern, the green pattern, and the blue pattern. When you hit enter, you can go into the speed and set the speed that the motor turns these patterns. When you go into settings four and five, these are combinations of colors. So here's four, you see individual combinations of colors. And when you go into five, it's the three different colors overlapping. And the controls work a little differently under these three settings. When you go up and down, you set the speed that the patterns change. So if you have a really low number, the patterns go from one to the next slowly. And when you go into higher numbers, they change quickly, and then when you hit enter, you can change the motor speed, just like the previous settings. Then when you go to function six, that is an auto mode, and it seems to go through the patterns randomly, but just like A4 and A5, you can set the speed by pressing enter. And then the last two channels are sound active one, and sound active two. When you press up and down on these, you actually set the sound sensitivity level. One is the lowest and nine is the highest sensitivity to the microphone. And you can see the LED counts off every time it hears a transient. When you press enter in this mode, you can select whether the uh, lasers black out when there's no sound or go into auto mode when there's no sound. Okay, now let's take a look at the DMX channels on this thing. I have it hardwired to my trusty Lixita controller with this DMX cable. And you can see the lights blinking on the laser, which means that it's under DMX control. So I'm starting with channel six. Six controls the blue laser, five the green, for the red laser, you can't see the red laser that well because it's actually um, spread out really wide. Looks pretty cool when you see it in the whole room. You can see that each one of these different colored lasers is focused through a different lens that gives it this uh, patterned effect. And so then when we go to channel three, you can create strobing. Uh, higher the value, the faster the strobing. And when you set it to zero, the pattern's all the way on. And when you go to channel two, that's the motor control where you can spin it at different speeds. 
and different rotations. And then in channel one, you can select different functions. You can select the A4 and A5 functions when you go into the higher values. And at the very highest values, you can select sound active mode one and two, which is cool to be able to select that via DMX. Okay, let's go ahead now and program a couple of scenes. So let's make our first scene just blue and we will add that, make that scene one. And then let's make a second scene. Let's layer on green and we'll strobe that and we'll hit add, make that scene two. And then for our third scene, let's put, we'll keep the strobe, but we'll spin it. And let's add the green to that too. Okay, we'll make this crazy one and we'll add that to scene three. So now when we go out of program mode and come out of blackout mode, there's scene one, there's scene two, and there's scene three, and a couple other scenes that I programmed. This is a pretty cool little laser for under a hundred bucks, and it really does a lot of different things if you know how to use it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and now let's watch this with the Haze Machine.